Hello everyone, happy Monday. Oh my goodness, you guys, I've missed hanging out with you on Mondays. I'm so excited to be back here today. We are starting a brand new sew along today and it's just like fall and sewing and all the awesomeness. <laughs> Very excited as you can see. So my name is Bev McCullough, if you're new to my channel, I'm uh, my company's Flamingo Toes, and we love doing sew alongs together. Um, we have a great community. I'm streaming live right now, both to YouTube and to Facebook in my Facebook group, which is the Flamingo Toes Stitch and Share Club. I have links to both places in the descriptions of the videos today, so you can visit whichever one works good for you. Sometimes the, your computer's funky, and you know you have to switch over to YouTube or to Facebook or whatever the case may be. It doesn't matter to me where you watch. Um, and so we just have a great time doing our sew alongs together and we are doing the Daisy a Day quilt which is behind me on the wall and we are going to sew this up together. So today is our kickoff video and if you've done a sew along with me before you know a kickoff video is really just info about the quilt, um, gives you time to uh, get started, get your fabric you know, starched or whatever it is you do to prep, <laughs> ironed, <laughs> bought, um, and then, you know, we'll dive into sewing next week. So it's going to be really fun. And I just have to say hi to some people. It's been so long. It's been a month since we had a video. And I know that's so crazy. I've missed hanging out with you guys on Mondays. It's been such a busy, busy month. I'm going to tell you guys all about it, um, but I want to say hi and see who's here first. So over on YouTube, Rhonda's here. She says, time for a new sew along, yippee. <laughs> Yay, Rhonda. Mary's here. She didn't realize it was going to be a sew along. She bought the fabric and the pattern. So that's awesome, Mary. I'm so glad you're able to tune in. Marsh is here. She loves the quilt. Mary Beth is here. Hey, Mary Beth. I missed Mondays too. <laughs> Sharon's here. Anna's here. I'm glad you like the quilt. Thanks, Anna. It's cooler here too, finally. Um, we are like, I think maybe, I, I don't want to jinx anything, but I think we might be into fall. Here's my, this is my hopes. We're talking like mid seventies and it's breezy and pretty gorgeous outside today. So I'll take it. Fran's here. Happy Monday. Let's see over on Facebook. Uh, Rhonda, Rhonda commented both places. Rhonda, are you watching both? You're Oh, buddy. Allison's here. Hey, Allison. Jennifer is excited for the B-Blocks. Jennifer is one of our fabulous Riley Blake designers. She stopped in to say hi. Yay, Jennifer. I think she's going to sew along a little bit with us, so I'm excited about that. Carrie's here. Hey, Carrie. Oh, I missed you guys, too. You guys are the best. Wendy's here. Leanne's here. All ready to go, Leanne. Yay. Carrie's got her fabric starched and ready to go and just waiting for her pattern. That's awesome, Carrie. Dawn's having computer problems. I'm sorry, Dawn. Hopefully it's not me. <laughs> Let's see, uh, Anita's here from Whidbey Island. Hey, Anita. <laughs> and Dorothy's here from Utah. Dawn's back to jamming with her computer. That's awesome. Hey, Barbara. <laughs> I know, Barbara says she just keeps telling herself she needs to finish her work in progresses, but then she sees a new sew along. I know, I'm a lot like that too as will be evidenced by the things I'm going to show you today and the month ahead of us. It's going to be busy around here. We're going to sew all the things. It's going to be great. Chris is here. Hey, Chris. Can't wait to start the quilt. Yay. Michelle said, don't jinx the weather. Michelle's one of our local, my local friends. And oh my gosh, I know, right? It's so gorgeous, Michelle. I take it all back. I don't know if it's fall yet or not. <laughs> Hi, Elizabeth. Oh, Elizabeth says it's close to 100 today. That's not fallish, Elizabeth. That's not ideal at all. <laughs> and Laura's here. Dolores, you're not late. We just started. We're just saying hi to everybody. Um, Aaron and Maureen and uh, Marsha are over on uh, YouTube. Aaron says Garden of Quilts looked so fun. Oh my goodness, Aaron. Let me tell you, we had so much fun. I don't know. I tried to share a little bit in the group. Um, I shared some on my Facebook page and mostly over on Instagram, but it was like seriously nonstop going from one thing to another. So 
we had a very good time and it was a lot of work and a lot of fun and just so refreshing to be with other quilters. It was like our Mondays, you know, how we get to hang out and talk quilting and catch up with each other, but in person and so, so fun. So we had, I did some filming with Riley Blake uh, while I was there. So I have a couple videos coming to their YouTube channel soon. Um, I'll definitely let you guys know about those when they're up and live. So that's exciting. And then Christopher Thompson and Amanda Niederhauser and I put on a icebreaker dinner the first night. So it was game show and it was called Let's Make a Quilt. <laughs> we had all kinds of fun games and prizes and it was a really fun way for people to kind of meet new friends and just dive into the fun that was Garden of Quilts. And then I taught two classes and I actually took two classes this year. I really wanted to just be able to sit and sew with other quilters and so I took two of Amanda's classes and I'm so glad that I did. It was just very refreshing, it like filled me up and I came home so inspired and ready to sew, which is a good thing because I have a lot of sewing to do. <laughs> So we had Garden of Quilts and then um, I had some deadlines I had to finish. It was just so, so busy. But I wanted to kind of show you a little bit about what's going on and um, behind, like not behind the scenes, what's going on this month as far as sew alongs and then we'll dive into um, all the things that you need to know for the Daisy a Day quilt, which is so fun. You guys are gonna love it. We're gonna have a blast. Hopefully that wasn't very loud. I just smacked the table. <laughs> I totally forgot about the mic, so that's cool. <laughs> oh, let's see. Um, somebody said, oh, Cheryl over on YouTube said, love the new fabric line received in the sew sampler box. So if you guys haven't gotten your sew sampler box, that was a little teaser. But if you haven't gotten your sew sampler box, um, or if you're not signed up, you guys, it's so fun to get those little fabrics every month. And this month was especially fun because there was a bunch of daisy fields in it. So that was great. Hey, Deanne's here from Brunswick, Canada. Hey, Deanne, is it gorgeous? Oh my goodness, Carrie said um, her area is recovering from Hurricane Fiona. No damage around her, but other places down trees, no power and lots of property damage. Oh my goodness, Carrie. So sorry about that. Praying for all of you guys. And somebody else up above. Let's see, Janice says, no, day three of no power. Oh my goodness, Janice, I'm so sorry. Gosh, that's very scary. All right, praying for you guys. All right, thanks for updating us on that. Okay, so um, let's do our non-Flamingo Toes sew-alongs. Let's talk about those first. <laughs> so I am joining in with the Fat Quarter Shop. Every year they do a mystery Christmas and a mystery Halloween quilt. The Halloween uh, so long I shared with you guys, that was really, really fun. And it was called, what was it called? Boo Crew. And so I sewed along with that. And usually the Christmas one is in July, but because of fabric delays, I mean, anymore, it's like, you know, <laughs> we're all just patient and whatever happens, happens, right? Um, so because of fabric delays, the Christmas one is sewing, is sewing along now, which is great because we'll have this really cute quilt done in plenty of time for Christmas still. So it's called Christmas time and they've released two blocks so far. So the first one is this really cute, let me pull the other one out because you can kind of, it's confusing. So the first block was two weeks ago and it was this little mug. How cute is this, you guys? I love it so much. <laughs> I really, I think I'm gonna make, um, so this one's for the quilt, but I think I'm gonna make another one that's just a mug rug because I need a Christmas mug rug with a mug on it, right? Like, that's a thing that I need in my life. <laughs> um, so this is Tasha Noel's Christmas collection that's out right now. It's called Pixie Noel 2. Her first Pixie Noel was wildly popular, like insanely popular. Um, and so she's um, come out with a Pixie Noel 2 with her darling little sketches and it's just so pretty with like the vintagey Christmas colors and then all her artwork is on it. So it's like, it screams fussy cut me. <laughs> so I'm gonna hold this up a little bit closer so you can see how cute that is. Oh, I'll get it in the middle of the screen. But look at that little girl and her hedgehog. Isn't that the most darling thing? I love it. So this is week one. And then last week was week two, and it was this little candy block. 
So I fussy cut some of the little stockings in the green print, and then I thought these ribbon candies, they, they, the ribbon stripe looked perfect for like a ribbon candy. I'll hold that one up so you guys can see it too. Isn't that so cute with the little stockings? I mean, just seriously. So this is a free sew along, um, and it's it's so fun. And she's uh, Kimberly's doing videos for these blocks. So you can follow along, and even if you're a beginner, you know, some of the pieces are a little bit smaller because this is a mini quilt-ish size. It's not very big. I don't remember the exact size, but I think it's mini-ish. I was looking around for the pattern. <laughs> it's over there. Um, and uh, so some of the pieces are small, but if you take it, you know, and go slow and step by step, it's going to be gorgeous, and you're going to love it. So these were the first two weeks. Tomorrow they're releasing the third block, so I can't show you that yet. But I would love for you to sew along with us. I have the links in today's video description so you can click over and get the free patterns, get the, um, the video, watch the videos. And there's also a stitch along that matches this. So check that out if you love to cross stitch and if you want to do you know that one instead or if you want to do both at the same time, this would be a really cute gift too. And I know a lot of people are doing like multiple versions of it so that they can make up one to keep and then another one to give away for a friend or a lot of people. I think, Allison, um, you're making up just a giant quilt with all the mugs, right? So I love that idea. So, so cute. So that is called Christmas Time, hosted by Fat Quarter Shop. I'm just sewing along, and this is Pixie Noel 2 fabric and uh, links to all the fabrics and everything in those blog posts in today's video description. So that's Christmas Time. The other one is um, a sew along, but I'm extremely behind in it in that I've only done two blocks, but that's okay because I'm still gonna work on it. This one will be like a slow sew along for me. But this is a block from Jennifer Long, who just, um, I was talking about her in the beginning of the video. Be So Inspired is her uh, blog company name, and she's a Riley Blake designer, and she designed this darling apple season quilt I have two blocks done. One is the apple slice block and one is a whole apple. Isn't this the best, you guys? I'm gonna hold it up so you can see it a little bit better. So I am sewing along. There's 30 uh, apples in the throw size quilt. So I'm going to do my best to make 30 apples. <laughs> and they're a mix of the slice apple and then the whole apple. And so I'm sewing along with um, Dainty Daisy as my apples and stems and everything and then I just am using a white the white confetti cottons by Riley Blake as my the insides of my apples and then I wanted a fun contrast and something different I'm trying to change up my backgrounds a little bit so that they don't all I, I love white you guys know I love a white background but sometimes it's good to change it up right you don't want every quilt to have a white background at least this is my philosophy right now <laughs> so I picked um, this is chambray from Christopher Thompson, it's a basic and it's just so soft and pretty. I don't know if you guys can, you can't tell how soft it is because you can't touch it, but it just feels so nice and it drapes really pretty. And I love the way it contrasts with my Dainty Daisy colors. So I'm making up these, I'm going to just, I'll keep you updated on my progress. It's gonna be like, oh, I have time to make an apple, let's make an apple <laughs> sort of thing. So it's definitely not something, well, I think the sew along ends at the end of this month, but it's not like you can't get the fabric. And I just, I mean the pattern, and you can even make one up in Dainty Daisy if you would like to, but she's got lots of ideas um, on her blog and I have a link to the pattern in today's video description, so check that out. And I wanna see if I'm missing any questions. Let's see, everybody wants to make the mugs. Yes, the mugs are so cute, right? <laughs> Let's see, um, oh, Allison's making up one of hers with Christmas Adventure. I love that, Allison. And Wendy likes the, the denim fabric, the chambray fabric for the apple season. I love it too. It's so cute. <laughs> Jennifer's still on. Yay. Oh, that's awesome. Um, yes, Mary Beth says so many so long, so little time. I know, right, Mary Beth? I know. But it's okay. We're just going to like have fun with it and, and do our best. <laughs> The thing that you can keep in mind with my sew alongs is that the videos, even though I record them live, they don't go away. So if you can't keep up or if maybe you want to make this quilt later, you can 
just hang out with us during the videos, but the videos will be accessible to watch anytime whenever you want them. So if you wanna make this quilt in January, you can dive in and make the quilt in January. Like the videos will be always accessible to you. So anytime. Okay, so I have another sew along that I am hosting in addition to the one that we're doing kicking off today. And that is going to kick off on Wednesday. So let me show you, we did a little poll in the Facebook group and everybody, it was a really close poll. Um, a lot of you liked, had several quilts that you wanted to do, but this one seemed to win by the most comments and likes. So we're going to start with our spring flowers and I know it's not spring, but that's okay. That's what the quilt is called. So you can make up this cute quilt in any colorway and it's gonna look great. So I am considering making up a Christmas one for our sew along because I think that that would look darling with the little flower blocks and the heart in stitchy colors. Christmas adventure, yeah, thanks. Um, is an idea or you can choose anything a fall one would be really cute so um, what we're going to do is we're going to next on Wednesday this Wednesday I'm going to kick off the sew along with a trunk show for make it mini so the kickoff video we're going to talk about that and I'm going to show you all the quilts from the book and then we're going to talk a little bit about how the sew along will go and so then the following week the first week in August we'll talk about the block assembly which is really simple it's one block and we are going to make up um, one two three four five six seven eight of them and then we're going to go through the stitches and we're going to do two or three stitches a week and then we'll assemble it at the end of October <laughs> Rhonda says two sew alongs in one month what could be better I know right <laughs> it's going to be really fun so that is going to kick off on Wednesday and those videos will be in the evening so uh, let me go back to the camera. So what we'll do on Wednesdays, so Mondays will stay at 2 p.m. Central and the Wednesday videos will be Wednesday nights, 7 p.m. Central. Hopefully that works out, gives everybody that works during the day time to join in with a video that's live and we'll just see how it goes. <laughs> it's going to be really fun and it's just, you know, you get to spend two days with me a week. So hopefully you guys will join in with that one and, um, you can get the book and fabrics and all kinds of stuff in my shop. And speaking of which, I am doing a sale in the shop through Tuesday night at midnight, my time, and the whole shop is 20% off. So this is a great time if you haven't picked up your Daisy a Day quilt pattern, if you haven't picked up your Make It Mini book, definitely jump on there and pick up some supplies because this is a great time to stock up and we um i won't have another shop sale until black friday so this is kind of your last like pre-holiday sale ish <laughs> and then black friday will be a really good sale time for you to get all your gifts and any kind of last minute holiday supplies and things like that that you need so that's just a little window into my sales but i'd love for you guys to stop by i have a link in the video straight to my shop and then also a link to the new items in the shop because we're going to talk about those and um, there's lots of fun new things there's like six new quilt patterns in the shop there's all the daisy fields fabrics i have three new needle minders that i'm going to show you guys in a little bit so lots of really fun things to check out while you're there and you don't need a code it's just 20 percent off and it's automatically applied in your cart so when you're looking at an item price on the website, it's gonna show the full price, but then once you put it in your cart, that's when the sale price kicks in. So if you're curious about how that works. So my goodness, I have been talking nonstop. <laughs> oh, yay, Dawn likes the evening off, man. I'm so glad. Okay. Yes, Rhonda says 3 p.m. Eastern and 7 p.m. No, 8 p.m. Eastern, uh, Rhonda, because it's 7 p.m. Central. So, um, yes, I'm so glad you guys are gonna sew along. And Maureen says that the mini quilt would look really pretty in Christmas fabric. Oh, that would look like poinsettias. Yes, I love that. What a great idea. Okay, so let's talk about Daisy a day. Or should we do a giveaway? Should we do our giveaway? So giveaways are really fun. All you have to do to enter is leave a comment on the video and you can do that live or whether you're watching later in the week. 
and it doesn't matter where you're watching YouTube or Facebook all the comments go kind of in a pot and I draw one at random and then I announce the winner the following week so it's really really easy to enter so I thought that we should kick off the Daisy a day quilt pattern <laughs> with some Daisy Daisy Fields fabric so this is my Daisy Fields fat quarter bundle you can kind of see the fabric colors there there we go so blues greens yellows kind of aquas creams and they're all behind me on these two quilts right here so I have a ginormous fat quarter bundle for you and then I have three new needle minders in the store and I'm going to give you the winner um, each one of these if you have already purchased them this week for the sale and you're the winner I'll let you pick something different so don't let this stop you from um, picking something up at a great price in the shop so the first one and I don't have my mini camera, my close-up camera hooked up today, so I'm gonna hold them up and hopefully you guys can see them. The first one is, I'm gonna take them out of the bag. They might be easier to see without a glare. Is a really cute little Halloween truck. So this little baby is so, so cute. This goes in our Halloween truck series. So on this one, there is a little star block on the door and then in the bed of the truck there is a jack-o-lantern and a black cat and potion books and a cauldron and a broom and then there's a spider web and a little spider which there we go hopefully you guys can see it's hard to see on the camera without the <laughs> without the close-up camera so i have a little halloween truck for you and then I have a bee that I designed to go perfectly with Daisy Fields. This cute little bee has, uh, it's like navy and gold, and she's got flowers on her wings and a little flower on her body. And it's just simple and soft and pretty. So this is the Sweet Bee Needle Minder. <laughs> And then I also have an addition to the Main Street Shop series, and I have this both in needle minder and charm form because I know some of you guys like to collect both. So this is the ice cream parlor. So it's pink and navy, has a big ice cream comb on top, and it has um, windows with like ice cream in the windows and all kinds of fun things on that one. So that is the ice cream parlor. And again, that one comes in charm and uh, needle minder form. So three new ones for you guys to collect. Um, and then you can also choose one of the six new quilt patterns for your giveaway prize. If you don't haven't picked up Daisy a day and you want that for your prize, you can pick that or you can pick any one of the other six new patterns. So I have Daisy a day, I have the um, the Country Daisies, which we're gonna do a sew along with that after Christmas. I have the Garden Terrace, which is hanging on my quilt rack right there. And then there are three new ones that I designed for Dainty Daisy. So the Sunshine and Daisies quilt, the Morning Meadow, and then the Friendship Sampler mini quilt. So you can pick any one of those quilt patterns. So that's our giveaway. Again, all you have to do to enter is Leave a comment on the video and I will draw the winner next week. So, I'm gonna keep the pattern here because we have to talk about it. All right, so let me take a little tea break. I didn't put today's tea info in the, um, in the description of the video today, but since it's tea time, I'll tell you. I'm drinking Harney & Sons Pumpkin Spice, which I love. They have a really good um, robust pumpkin spice, so caffeine-free get that pumpkin-y fall flavor without um, all the caffeine that seems to be in all the pumpkin drinks. Why, why is that? <laughs> so sad. Um, okay, so let's look at the, um, <laughs> Allison says she needs to make a needle minder spreadsheet so you can keep track. I love it, Allison. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, let's see, Dolores says she ordered the bee and it's adorable. Thank you, bee. Thank you so much, Dolores. And Maria loves the ice cream parlor, yay. Oh, that's awesome. And Anna loves the Halloween truck. Oh, thank you guys so much. Lori's here. I'm so glad you're here, Lori. <laughs> okay, so let's look at the schedule for the Daisy a Day so long. So today is kickoff day, and um, 
then next week we are going to just it'll be three weeks of the blocks and i'm going to talk to you guys about which block and you know we'll go over each block block one block two block three and then we will do assembly and borders so it's really a pretty quick so long i didn't want to bog you guys down at the holidays and make you feel overwhelmed i will record these videos for you but you know if you find oh my goodness it's getting busy the videos will be available for you to check out you know whenever you have time you can finish it a little bit slower than in five weeks or you can you know just dive through it won't if the blocks actually go together pretty quickly so i don't think you'll have too much trouble until we get to like week three when you have to make several so let me take another drink here i'm talking a lot It's been a month since I did our videos, though I talked nonstop at Garden of Quilts, so you'd think I'd still be in like form, <laughs> but it's still slow. My throat's going, what are you doing? Okay, so block one is the flower block that looks, has a solid center. So let me see if you can see, there's one right over my shoulder with a yellow center. That is block one. So that's what we're gonna start with next week. And we need to make up nine of those. And again, if you don't have time to make nine next, you know, in the week between next Monday and the following week, don't stress. Like, there'll be time to, to catch up and finish later. It's not like there's a deadline to the so long, especially in October. I mean, I we all get, like, how busy everyone is. So that's block one. So we're going to make nine of those the first week. And then block, or block B, block two, sorry is the patchwork flower. So you can kind of see that one right there. So the center of the block, the, the flower is assembled the whole entire, the same way, except for the center, which is a patchwork center instead of just a big solid piece. So those go together pretty quickly too, even though they're made up of lots of pieces and we only need to make six of those. So that's not so bad. And then for week three, block three, we will do the bee blocks and you can see those scattered around everywhere there's lots of bees on here and there's actually 15 of those but like i said they go together really quick and i'm going to give you some tips for assembly and chain piecing and things like that so that you can make them up quickly so the other thing you can do is you know maybe you um if you got the kit Obviously, you'd want to make up the entire quilt, but you could also like make a runner or you could do up some pillows and things like that. These blocks really lend themselves towards um, additional smaller things. So if you want the quilt, I think it would be really cute to make up like a flower pillow and a bee pillow to kind of go with it. That would be so cute. I think I might do that and put them out in the spring. I love that idea. <laughs> So, and then the last week of October, we'll go over how to put all the rows together and just some tips on assembly and borders and things like that. So the border on this one is solid. It's not a pieced border, so it goes together um, quickly like that. So I think it'll be a pretty easy and fun sew along. I'm so, so excited to see this, um, to sew this up with you guys. I can't wait to see your blocks. I hope that you guys share um, projects as you go. I have two hashtags with this. I'm going to pop that bit, that picture back up there, but I have two hashtags with this. Um, and these work, especially if you are over on Instagram, um, Daisy a day quilt and Daisy a day quilt. So along S A L and you can share, um, your photos with those and I'll reshare. I love to reshare photos. Um, when I can so I would love for you guys to use the hashtag and I might just possibly have some bonus giveaways in here for people that are using the hashtag over on Instagram so just because I can't do my live videos over there I want to give Instagram a little bit of love too so just just keep that in mind as a potential thing that might be happening <laughs> Today, later on Instagram, I'm going to share some of my testers versions of the quilt to give you a little bit of inspiration. They're gorgeous. Like every single one of them turned out so beautiful. So it'll give you um, a whole different view on, you know, different fabrics and things like that. Obviously, I would love it if you use Daisy Fields fabrics for this, but if you don't want to, if you would prefer something else, you have something in your stash in mind, um, feel free to sew along with any fabrics you'd like. You do not, any, all of my sew alongs, 
you don't have to use my fabric. We just want you to join in and be a part of the community and be a part of the sew along with all of us. And whatever fabric you use is great. <laughs> Okay, so does anybody have, oh, Rhonda says she loves seeing photos of other blocks and quilts. Me too. And Dawn says she's got the kit. She's ready. Yay, Dawn. I did post a link in today's video description of, um, um, on my website, I have a list of shops that are carrying daisy fields, and a lot of them have made up kits of this daisy day quilt or Christmas, uh, Christmas, <laughs> country daisies or Garden Terrace. Um, so if you've been wanting any of those, definitely pick them up now. We are going to do a sew along after Christmas with the Country Daisies quilt and now would be a good time to get that kit because I don't know how much people will still have them kitted up in, you know, by January because there's new fabrics out all the time and things sell out so fast. So, oh yay, you guys like the bees. Lori likes the bees. Yay! Pamela's excited too. Laura has the kit and loves the fabrics. Yay, Laura, that's awesome. I'm so glad. Okay, does anybody have any questions? Are you guys excited? Oh, I did want to give you a tip and I didn't link to them, but you can find them on Fat Quarter Shop. I'll link to them next week. I do love to use lettering with my uh, when I'm doing cutting my pieces. So I buy alphabetes from Fat Quarter Shop you, these come in really cute different colors. They're basically just little letter tiles that you can, you know, cut out your pieces and keep track of which pieces are what. And I do write all my patterns, well, not the very first ones, but pretty much all the new patterns have the pieces, the blocks um, cut out with lettering. So you can kind of keep track of what pieces, you know, you don't have to wonder, oh my gosh, I cut out a two and a half by four and a half inch piece, but I don't know which one of those pieces that is. So these little letter pieces um, really make it easy for you to keep track of blocks, especially when they have multiple pieces to them. You don't have to purchase alphabeties by any means. There's lots of little alphabet um, tag things. Some people use pins and they write on the head, you know, if you've got a decent sized head on the pin, like those little plastic ones, they'll use a Sharpie and write your lettering on that. Or you can make your own with post-it notes or cardstock or anything like that. It's just a fun little way to keep your piecing organized and your blocks um, easier to put together. So we'll talk about that next week, but I did want to remind you guys, if you've been thinking about picking up some lettering, some little letter labels, go ahead and do that now before we dive into next week. So I think that's everything I have. Um, oh, Rhonda says she took the cat pins and wrote the ABCs and one, two, threes on each head. Oh, that's perfect, Rhonda, I love that. That's a great idea. Um, and Gail uses the letters for organizing too. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, awesome. All right, friends, I just had a blast hanging out with you today. This was a little shorter video today. Well, still half an hour, but <laughs> we had to catch up and talk about all the things, right? Um, tomorrow is the, um, the release for the third Christmas time sew along. And then Wednesday, I'll see you guys back here Wednesday night for our make it mini trunk show. So you don't want to miss that. I'm going to show every one of the quilts in there. And also one of the two of the quilts that did not make the cut. They were, they were, we had a size, uh, not a size problem, but a space issue. We didn't want to make the the book insanely large or too expensive. So two of the patterns got um, cut from the book and I'm going to be releasing those as separate patterns and I'm going to show you those ahead of time. And then um, there's a very cool announcement coming out on Friday from Fat Quarter Shop. So watch for that as well. So fun, fun things ahead, you guys. It's going to be an amazing month. Busy as, as it's always busy now, right? Like. Do we ever get like downtime? I was thinking we would go into October with some downtime and now I'm like, well, maybe not. Let's do all the things. <laughs> so thank you guys for tuning in. I so appreciate you guys hanging out with me on Mondays or Wednesdays or whenever we're hanging out together. I know that there's a bajillion designers out there and they're all insanely and talented. And I just, I'm so thankful for you guys hanging out with me and spending time with me and your support. So. I'm excited to do this sew along with you. We'll be back next week with our first block, which is the really cute big flower block right there. We're going to start sewing. So if you want to cut out and get ahead of the game, you can. 
or you can just start next Monday with the rest of us. So I will be back here 2 p.m. on Monday, sewing through that block with some tips and info on how to put it all together. I hope you guys have a fabulous week. I hope it's fallish where you are. <laughs> and I will see you next, well, I'll see you Wednesday. Hopefully you tune in. Bye.